There's no doubt technology is growing by leaps and bounds. And for several years now, Dell Nashville has decided it would give local teachers a helping hand. Five local schools have been provided with the STEAM Innovation Grant for their students. So how's it working out? Let's go to Antioch Middle School to find out in tonight's School Patrol. Spheras is not the only thing that we do. Things are rolling right along here in Thomas Yon's class. It all started with, you know how UPS, they say that they don't make left turns. So we said this is a good opportunity for them to test real world problems into robotics. That's because Yon. What happened when you only turn to the right? Along with four other public school teachers was awarded part of a $15,000 grant to advance a STEAM curriculum. So right now they're trying to write a, a program uh, debug it to see if there is any problems. I've been working on the Spiro. I've been trying to code and see if I can make it to the end of this line right here, but it's challenging. So far, I've made it right there. They're going to build buildings with the wood carvers that they'll provide, and then we're going to redesign all this and make it look like downtown Nashville. For years, Dell has made sure that it provides the students of today with the skills they'll need tomorrow. You know, we want to make sure the students um, overall can be able to learn, you know, things like this, which you see in this classroom, but also things that'll prepare them for the workforce and for the future. Watch out. Among the equipment provided by the Dell Grant. Even if I wanted to make it crash and hit the ceiling, it won't allow it to. Are drones and even podcast equipment. And you can have four students plug to this. Yeah with a camera. Giving the students a head start in the technologically advancing world. Not everybody wants to do robotics. Not everybody wants to do podcasting. So I'm trying to get the interest of different students in different things. We just connected all of our Spiros together. The class is open to students who excel. They tested high on their standardized test, and that's how they get to come over here for an hour. And while students are serious about learning, sometimes it just seems like fun. We do different stuff than other classes do. In this class, we get to play with robots and stuff, and in other classes, we just gotta sit here and, and do work. We get to learn a lot of things. This is just day two of class for Joshua Farina. <laughs> it was a bit frustrating. When when we first started, we didn't know what to do. He just said start. He's already caught on that this class could be the start of something big. You can actually code a game like the robots. So I can possibly make a game. Right now, they can test the thing that you say you want to do, right? You want to be a programmer. Here you go. You get the experience to do it hands on. The recipients of the grant were selected by an impartial panel of community and nonprofit leaders.